sixth grade module one lesson three classwork exercise one write a one sentence story problem about a ratio i'm going to say that let's uh let's talk about cookies and cupcakes so i'll say that the ratio of the number of cookies to the number of cupcakes is two to one. Now it wants us to write this ratio in two different forms. So I already did one in the ratio. I could write in my sentence here, so I two to one, or I could just write it out instead of using the colon. I could say two to one. Number two. Shani and Mel are using ribbon to decorate a project in their art class. The ratio of the length of Shani's ribbon to the length of Mel's ribbon is seven to three. Draw a tape diagram to represent this scenario. So it wants us to use a tape diagram to show seven to three. Let's start with Shani. So hers is seven because hers comes first. Her name's first, that means that hers is the first number. So hers is seven. And I'm gonna split my tape diagram into seven equal pieces. Seven, and then we have Mel. Hers is three. So there's a tape diagram that represents the ratio. Exercise three. Mason and Laney ran laps to train for the long distance running team. The ratio of the number of laps Mason ran to the number of laps Laney ran was two to three. If Mason ran four miles, how far did Laney run? Draw a tape diagram to demonstrate how you found the answer. Okay, so let's first draw a tape diagram of two to three. So we have Mason is first, which means that his is two. So Mason is two, Laney is three. I'm gonna draw the two and add one more to it. So we have Mason and Laney. Mason ran four miles, so that's saying that Mason's this is equal to four miles. And if I were to split that into the two equal pieces, so split that evenly, this would be two miles, this would be two miles. So then we can figure out Laney's by filling in two miles, two miles, and two miles. So we know that Laney ran, if we add that all up, six miles. So Laney ran six miles, so our ratio, which was two to three, an equal ratio to that is four to six. And if you notice, all we had to do for each one was multiply by two. So that's one way that you can find equivalent ratios, is just multiply each number by the same number. B, if Laney ran 930 meters, how far did Mason run? Draw a tape diagram to determine how you found the answer. So remember, they were two to three up here. So let's do Mason and Laney. So it's two to three. I'll add one more. Now this time, we know that Laney ran 930 meters. So we can fill in here. We can figure out what each one of these is equal to by doing 930 
and dividing it into three equal pieces. So three goes into nine one time, one times, no, nope, that's not true. Three goes into nine three times. Three times three is nine. We subtract, bring down the three. Three goes into three one time, one times three is three. Zero, bring down the zero, three goes into zero, zero times, and we have nothing left to bring down. If you thought long division was gone after fifth grade, it's, it's back. Okay, so this is 310 meters, this is 310 meters, this is 310 meters. So that all equals 930, so now we can figure out Mason. We're doing 310 meters, 310 meters. So Mason ran 310 plus 310 is 620 meters. So let's say Mason ran 620 meters. So C, what ratios can we say are equivalent to 2 to 3? Well, one that we found up here is that it's equivalent to 4 to 6. And we also, the one that we just did here, we had Mason ran 620 miles to Laney's 900, not meters, 620 me meters to 930. So also 620 to 930 is equal to 2 to 3. Exercise 4. Josie took a long multiple choice end of year vocabulary test. The result of the number of problems Josie got incorrect to the number of problems she got correct is 2 to 9. If Josie missed 8 questions, how many did she get correct? Draw a tape diagram to demonstrate how you found the answer. So, her ratio of incorrect to correct is 2 to 9. So, incorrect was 2. I'm going to make that a little smaller since the next one's 9. Correct is 9. So there's 2. Let me try again. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want it to look similar. So there's 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, two to nine. If Josie missed eight questions, so that's saying that her incorrect questions here, this is equal to eight, how many did she get correct? Draw a tape diagram to demonstrate how you found the answer. So the incorrect is equal to eight. 8, if we split that equally into each of these pieces, divide 8 into two equal pieces, that's four questions there, four questions there. So now we can fill in all of these as 4. So here, this, 4, and there's 9 of them, 4 times 9 is equal to 36. So she got 36 questions correct. B, if Josie missed 20 questions, how many did she get correct? Draw a tape diagram to demonstrate how you found the answer. So remember the incorrect to correct was two to three. So incorrect is two, or not two to three, two to nine. Is that 9? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes. So incorrect to correct was 2 to 9. This time she missed 20 questions. So this is equal to 20. If I split that equally into each of into my tape diagram, this is 10 and 10. So all of these are 10. So we would say that 10 times 9 is equal to 90. So this, in this scenario, she got 90 questions correct.
So then number C, what ratios can we say are equivalent to 2 to 9? So in this first part, we had a ratio of 8 to 36. So we'll say 8 to 36. And in part B, we had a ratio of 20 to 90. So 20 to 90 is also an equivalent ratio of 2 to 9. D, come up with another possible ratio of the number of Josie got correct to the number she got incorrect. Number she got incorrect to the number she got correct. So you could do this by drawing a tape diagram, or if you'll notice, let's make a chart. So incorrect to correct, we had 2 to 9, 8 to 36, 20 to 90. So to get from 2 to 8, we multiplied by 4. 9 times 4 is 36. To get from 9 to 90, we multiplied by 10. To get from 2 to 20, multiplied by 10. So as long as we're multiplying by the same number, we will get an equivalent ratio. So let's multiply 2 by, let's just start simple, by 2, because we haven't used that one yet. 2 times 2 is 4. 9 times 2 is 18. So 4 to 18 would be another ratio of numbers that she got correct to in incorrect to correct. If we wanted to think of another one, let's multiply 2 by 7. So we would have 2 times 7 is 14. 9 times 7 is 63. So another ratio would be 14 to 63. You could keep going. There are infinite number of ra equivalent ratios that you could find. How did you find the numbers? So what we did was we multiplied I'll just do our first example, 4 to 18. We multiplied 2 by 2 and 9 by 2. So each time we're multiplying by 2. And F, describe how to create equivalent ratios. So what you need to do is multiply, and what we were doing above, multiply both numbers of the ratio by the same number. So that can be any number you want, whether it's 2 through infinite infinity. It can be any number. As long as you multiply them by the same thing, you will get a equivalent ratio.